Down it, down it. That's way too much. I will die. Stop being a pussy. Look at this. It's half the bottle. That's not pussy. I'm gonna have You're a such pussy a pussy. Bottle. Let's do it. Let's go. I have a pussy and pussy. <laughs> Shut up. Just drink that shit. Mm -mm. Go. Go. You got two minutes. Let's go. I mean, I could finish it in two minutes. I know you can, but that's not the point. This is the video. Let's go. You got to look badass. You're wearing a badass jacket, and you're in this badass house. Now it's trying to drink like a badass. <laughs> There you go. You see? I knew you can do it. Cassidy. Say what up? Yo, Cassidy single. She looking for somebody. What kind of man you looking for? Hi, I'm Cassidy. And, um, <laughs> Cassidy. I'm a Leo. Um, I'm a freak in the shit. Oh, shit. Tell me you're hot. Tell me you're hot. I am. I'm really cool. I have style. Swear to God, I got style. Hold on. I might seem like a crackhead, which I am half the time, but that's because my ADHD goes through the roof. I have undiagnosed ADHD. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get it. Just got my coffee. It is delicious. Mmm. Ah. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine. So I'm waiting on this girl right here. I told her to uh go to the restroom at my house. And you know, you know women be, they be like, nah, I don't need to use the restroom. And then like fucking five minutes later, I gotta use the restroom. Bitch, I told you if you wanted to use the restroom. <laughs> Hurry up. Tell me what to do. All them deadlifts and fire hydrants. <laughs> I like this view. 10 out of 10. Right? Yup. And this ain't even nothing. Now let me ask you this. In one week, how many guys hit on you? And there's no judgment here. Just so you guys can know how many times a girl gets hit on. And that's why you can't be a pussy and you just gotta approach them. Strike first. Honestly, no mercy. Like every other guy I interact with. Uh-huh. I pretty much get hit on. Every other guy you interact with, you get hit on. <sighs> okay? Uh, Averagely on a week, how much is that? On a day, I don't know, like I see a lot of people. Alright. Uh, just just give me an average number. You know, like twenty to thirty. Twenty to thirty in one week. In a day? Jesus! You heard of that? Okay. Now, how many times would he give out of those 20 to 30? How many is there a possible chance with? None. But, like, let's just say, like, you were, like, doing you. Maybe one. Maybe one out of those 20 to 30. Uh -huh. And what would attract you? To that one, is it the looks? Is it the the, the looks, the way he approached me, and then the way we just talk with each other? Exactly. So looks plays a huge part in confidence. You can't sound like a bitch, or like you're scared. You gotta make it sound like I know what I'm doing. I'm about to take down this hoe. <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> no, I'm just kidding. You gotta be nice, yeah. people. You gotta be nice. Only I can do that. I'm just kidding. No, I can't. <laughs> Look at this view right here. Look at this. This is called um, Hike Los, Leon Los Leones Trail. There you go. 
It's beautiful. Huh? Does it? Damn, you look mad. <laughs> Y'all already have some alcohol. <laughs> Let's say this. Say what up? Look how somber she is. Look at this. You know what she <laughs> Damn. You know what she said, guys? She said, I can't get sunburned, I'm black. <laughs> I was like, girl, you gotta relax. You're barely black. Like, look at me. Let's compare each other's color. No, I'm dark. Yeah, barely. Look. You're darker, really? Yeah. Maybe it's not on my hands. Yeah. Exactly. I'm like, girl, you're barely fucking dark. She's like that Dominican Puerto Rican color. No? Look at her hair, too. It's nice and curly. She never wants to show it off. And I'm like, dude, I like curly hair. Well, you haven't even put it down. You never put it down. Next time we see her, she's got to put it down. Okay. What you mean, maybe? So, check this out. Chocolate from Germany. And flowers. And it says, thankful for you. And somebody gave me this. So, let me tell you guys the story. Um, so, I received it just barely right now. And, like, you know, I was walking to my car after work, you know, after training, you know, my clients and getting them buff and sexy. You know, I get out of work, go to my truck, and I find this little note. And it says, you know, sweet guys deserve flowers and chocolate too and i'm like me sweet like damn i mean i i wouldn't consider myself i mean i am i am i guess you could say but overall i'm not you know i'm pretty aggressive but you know if that's what they like that's sweet to them right so yeah i found that little note and then at the end it says check your trunk and I find that right there. Like, I don't know how to feel about it. Like, I'm grateful for it, obviously. But no one has ever given me flowers and chocolate. And it just feels very different. Appreciative, but different. How would you guys feel, like, if someone left you flowers and chocolate? You know, how would you feel? Like, if a girl left you flowers and chocolate... How would you guys feel? Fellas, leave a comment under my webbles below. Like, how would you feel? Like, would you feel weirded out? Like, I don't, you know, there's some men that will probably feel like girls. Like, oh, man, I ain't no bitch. Like, you shouldn't be. But, bro, like, you shouldn't feel like that if you feel secure, you know. I think it's uh, very cute and different. Anyways, I'm going to be putting these chocolates. I already ate two. They're pretty bomb, by the way. So you guys should try them out if you ever do try them out. They're these. But I like to put my chocolate inside the... You see, as you guys can see, I have all my chocolates here. These are literally all my little pre-workout snacks before a workout, obviously. And I have my frozen grapes. And for the flowers. 
flowers, flowers, flowers. They're nice. And guess where I'm putting them? Next to dad! He's probably like, puta voz, no jodas. Con tus mariconadas, recibiendo flores. <laughs> ya sabía que eras marica. Ahora que ya estoy, ahora que ya fallecí, ahora ya sé la verdad. <laughs> ahora sí puedo ver todo, hombre. Marica. Ah, <laughs> oh, my dad. He was a bully, but it was a good thing. Because it made me strong. And that's how I'm going to be with my son. I mean, I'm not a bully, but he wasn't easy going. You feel me? And that's what makes you tough in life. No pussy shit. Anyway, where's little Wapo? Wapo! What are you doing? He's like, bro, I'm fucking hungry, man. I've been waiting for you all day. He always does that when he's hungry. He sticks out his little tongue. Take out your little tongue, Wapo. You're hungry? Mm? Mm? Yeah, he's hungry, see? He's like, yeah, bro, stop filming me and fucking feed me, you fat fuck. <laughs> All right, bro, my bad. So, where are we? Where are we? That's a very good question. Mm -hmm. We're right here at the half marathon mm -hmm. event mm -hmm. in LA. Mm -hmm. And I'm ready to fucking own this shit, baby. Let's do this. Let's do this. Mm -hmm. Muscles wear. I'm kidding. How do my shorts look? They look really good, actually. Give me a 360. <laughs> Like that? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Good. How many miles are you running today? Only 13.2. It's not much. I already did the full marathon. Mm -hmm. Easy work. I should be back I should be back in a flash. Okay. Alright. Just as soon as you close your eyes and open them, I'll be back. Mm -hmm. Alright? Mm -hmm. Five hours later. Hour and 45 minutes later. <laughs> All right, let's go check out the places now okay. before it starts. I did 15 point what? 15 point 21 miles instead of 13.2 miles on a half marathon because me and some other like top runners got lost and we went up a hill we shouldn't have. It was crazy. It was a super steep hill too. Bad timing, but it wasn't my fault, man. You can't, you can't blame this on me, man. Like, I would have got like an hour in and for sure like 35. That shit demotivated me though, low key. Yeah. When I, I feel like you could have gotten way quicker than that. Huh? Because like, yeah. you did it in what, two hours and 20? 20, two hours and 20, the 15.2. I feel like you got it in like an hour and a half. Don't be a pussy. You said we were gonna chug it. Alright. What is that? So what's the drink? An espresso martini. Ugh. 
It's not bad. It's actually really good. It tastes like fucking coffee and liquor. Ugh. That's exactly what it is. Ugh. I got the, of course, beer. You said you're gonna chug it? Maybe. Bullshit. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Go. 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 Right. <sighs> oh my god. Oh my god. Have you guys seen this? <coughs> good? <laughs> <laughs> Looks good. Bad, huh? It wasn't bad. Not no? as bad as the first time. Cool. See? Nice. Mm -hmm. So you were already buzzed before, right? So I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. A simple thumbs up. It'll go a long way, people. A long way. Anyways, follow me in my Speed Force Aesthetics Instagram account because I be posting a lot of videos there. Tips, motivation, inspiration, and so forth. And, you know, some people have told me to separate, you know, my fitness with my regular vlogs even though my life is like fitness all the time now. But we will see. But basically, people, like, you guys are going to see, man. I'm, I'm slowly coming up, people. I'm about to whoop everybody just on pure hard work and skills. Watch these transformations happen like the clients that I have. Just watch it happen, people. I'm currently in a $10,000 challenge with my clients. And they're all doing pretty good. And it's badass, people, because people are finally going to know who's the king of this shit. I am playing. People, there's this guy taking a program from this dude called, uh, called uh, Chris Heria, I think. He does, like, calisthenics. He was like, yeah, man, I was doing his program, but I got plateaued, this and that. And, you know, he currently joined the gym for a personal trainer, which is me. And, yo, he's breaking plateaus, like, every week, bro. I don't fuck around with training, people. Y'all don't know me yet. Nobody know me yet. Not yet. But everybody will see soon. Very soon. And then Gymshark, I'm gonna demolish them, bro. Alpha Elite, demolish them, bro. I'm gonna become my own brand. And I keep saying this. And I'm going to have only winners, full of winners, people who think positive, who want more in life, who want to become the best in life, people. Because that's who I am and want to be. And why not share it around with other people who are in the same team as I am, right? Anyways, that's for another topic, another point. Follow me on Speed Force Aesthetics or Derek Vlogs on Instagram. Stay tuned for the next video. I'm going to be posting more. See you guys soon. Late.